Hi there everyone, welcome back to another review from 40 Plus Reviews. We're going to be out camping this weekend so we thought we'd take this opportunity to review the Halo View wireless camera system for large trucks and RVs. Um, we picked this up because we were new to RVing and we got a, a fairly large trailer and it's like 37 feet long. So we thought that this would be essential to you know our safety and with driving. It's really quite simple to install. Unfortunately, I can't show you how to install it because mine's already installed and sealed up. But I, I will go over briefly uh, of how it's done. It is very, very simple. Um, you don't need um, somebody uh, from your RV dealership to install it for you unless you're not comfortable with um, doing a, a small amount of electrical wiring. Um, other than that, we're going to cover all the features of the Halo View. Uh, the different features on the monitor itself, uh, the overall picture quality, and how well it performs. Sound good? Okay, so as you can see, um, hooking this monitor up is, is really straightforward. It just plugs right down in here into your 12 volt adapter. Um, and then it has a little power button to, to cycle it on and off. Uh, one thing that you need to be aware of is depending on how you've hooked this up, whether you have it running off of battery power or if you've hooked it into your RV lights like I have, um, you have to have your, your lights on on your vehicle. Um, you can't just have it on daytime running lights. You have to turn your lights on, which you probably should do anyway while you're towing. Um, that's what powers the cameras. Another thing that I've done here is it does come with a mount, but I wasn't a big fan of the mount. So what I did is I jury-rigged up some Velcro, put it on the sun shield, um, and it just goes around my rear view mirror. And, you know, uh, since you're towing, you, you don't really use the rear view mirror anyway. Now as you can see on the display, um, the frame rate is actually really good, uh, especially for the side cameras. If we switch to the rear view camera. Sometimes when you're traveling at higher speeds you can see it gets a little choppy. Halo View does sell uh, a booster that you can put on top of your RV. Uh, that might be something I'll pick up maybe next year. But for now uh, I like to have it on the split screen showing the two side uh, cameras. Uh, but because they're so close to the unit, there's, there's virtually no lag, uh, and you get a great picture quality. Okay, so uh, again, just back here, if you look at the, the monitor, you have a select button. Um, so when you select, you can focus in on one of the cameras. So right now, I'm on the left-hand side, so if I wanted to make a lane change, I can have that take up the whole screen so that I can see a bit more detail before I want to make that lane change. However, um, there's the right side. You can cycle through. I don't have a third camera, which would be like the front-facing camera. Um, but I like to keep it on the split so that I can see both sides. Um, there is uh, an adapter that, you can, that comes in the box with the Halo View monitor. And it allows you to hardwire the setup right into your components inside of your, your vehicle. So you wouldn't need the 12 volt adapter anymore, it would draw power directly from your vehicle, but it also has trigger wires so that if you were to say put it, in, if you turn on your indicator to turn right, the screen will use just the right camera and then when you when you make finish your turn, it's going to go back to your desired view which in my case is the split view. Same thing like if you were to throw it in reverse, the rear the reverse camera would come up and uh, it would focus in on the whole screen. Okay, so here's the side camera. Um, you can see the model number there, but uh, how to hook this up is if you look down here, uh, you have to take this cap off uh, and then the wiring for the light, you just splice this wire right into it using a couple uh, morettes and stuff. And it's not a big deal, 
uh, but if you're not really comfortable with it I would suggest you get it done by your RV dealership as you can see we're our camping weekends over we're at our RV uh, dealership where, where we store it so um, uh, another thing is, is we're right at the end of the year so I will be taking this camera off um, because I don't want to leave it here over the winter. So I know we talked about this while we were in the truck, but as you can see here, the reason we bought it was because of the, the entire length of our, our trailer. Like on the outside of this trailer, it's uh, close to 37 feet. So lane changes and parking and stuff like that, it, it can be a bit of a challenge. Okay, so there's the back camera. Our trailer was pre-wired for a Furion backup camera. Uh, which was nice uh, even though this is halo view it doesn't uh, it you can buy an adapter so that you can use the furion hookups so i didn't have to hook it into any of the lights all i had to do was buy a mounting bracket and that adapter and it plugged in and it was working in like no time okay well that's us darren and sander here we're finishing off our review for the the halo view wireless monitoring system uh, we think it's a great addition to any RV, and we hope uh, you found this review useful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Better yet, even subscribe to the channel to see more reviews about our RV and other products. And we'll see you next time on 40 Plus Reviews. Bye now.